Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today we have a fun taste test video for you. We are looking at switching our dogs from dry kibble food over to fresh dog food, just for the various nutritional value that comes with the benefit of feeding fresh food. So in order to do so, we were trying to figure out what kind of food or protein we wanted to change them over to. Are we gonna do beef? Are we gonna do turkey? Are we gonna do pork? Um, our dogs don't have any specific food-related allergies or requirements, aside from the old man who has a couple of GI issues every once in a while. So which diet to pick? Well, our friends over at Nom Nom went ahead and sent us a couple of samples of some of their different foods and their varieties so that we could go ahead and offer them to our dogs and see if the dogs had a taste test preference, just to make it a little bit more fun in selecting which food we were gonna feed. If you're not familiar with Nom Nom, I'm really, really excited about this company. It's an up and coming food company and all of their diets are formulated by a board certified veterinary nutritionist. They have a geneticist on the team, a microbiologist on the team, so these people really know their stuff. So today we're gonna see if the dogs are as excited about the food as we are. All right, uh, before we get into the taste test, and if you like this video, please let me know by hitting that like button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you wanna receive more content just like it. Let's go ahead and get the dogs and get right into the taste test. All right, first up, chicken chow nom. Mmm, chicken. Let's just peel right open, it looks like. Okay, we'll get a little scoop of this. Oh yeah, nice chunky vegetables and chicken. Mm. Oh, quick little behavior bite for you. If you'll notice, I'm preparing this food over here and I'm not getting Blue all excited about this, even though this is gonna be super exciting for her because I don't want to encourage her to be overly excited about the countertop so she doesn't end up accidentally counter surfing and getting into something that's toxic or she shouldn't. Good, wait. Eat. The foods that Blue Ivy and Boda are taste testing today are all made with human grade ingredients. Now while that's not a nutritional requirement for dogs, there is something great to that, and that is human grade ingredients are required to all be cooked separately when it comes to dog food, meaning you get the maximum nutrition value by proper cooking before combining everything into the diet. Okay, so for round two, we mix it up just a little bit. We went ahead and swapped the last one that she chose, which was the pork, and put that in the position of the first one she chose, which was the turkey. So we switched the turkey and the pork, and the first one we have here is beef, then we have pork, then we have chicken, then we have turkey to see if she just went for the first bowl or if she's gonna switch it up or what she thinks. You ready, Blue? You wanna try again? Sit. Good. Here, leave it. Good, good girl. Here, right here, come on, sit. Good. Mmm. Mmm, yummy. Leave it, good. Mmm, smell. Mmm, there's that one. Wait. Good. We'll eat. <laughs> Interesting choice. Sample multiple. All right, so that was a fun little taste test. And to be perfectly honest, Blue Ivy will eat just about anything, but I do think she had a little bit of a preference for the turkey and the chicken and the beef over the pork. She left a little more pork in the bowl or the potatoes from the pork than she did anything else that was in the jars. So I could essentially pick any of these diets for her and I think she'd be just perfectly happy with that. She seemed to like all of them. Now, one thing I wanna to mention too, is if you're thinking about trying some of these different foods with your dogs, is that um, if they're already on one specific type of protein, you don't wanna switch it up too much because you can cause some stomach upset. Obviously, a treat like this every once in a while with a different protein is fine, but if you wanna see what your dog likes and you wanna do like a week of chicken and a week of pork and a week of turkey, it's really a good idea to gradually change the proteins over, over three to four days from one protein to the next. So just something to consider if you are planning on doing a trial of food with your dogs to see what they like the most. 
All right, I think you've had enough of the spotlight and food for the evening. You've had your dinner already. We're gonna go get the other dog, Boda Bear, and see if he has a preference for diet. All right, so here's the old man, Boda Bear. We'll see if he has a preference and which one that he picks first. He's had a chance to sniff him here real quick, so let's see. Okay, Boda, eat. Ooh, likes the turkey first too. Finishes all the turkey before moving on to the next. And we got a beef. Okay, so we went ahead and reversed them, put them in the same order that we had Blue Ivy's second round in because pork seems to be the least favorite, so we put it in the position that he went to first, which was the turkey. So we've got beef, pork, chicken, turkey in this order. So we'll see what he goes for this time. You ready, buddy? Okay, eat. Right to pork, right to number two. Oh, but he stops eating it. Goes on for the chicken instead. Now onto the turkey. <laughs> okay, result time. But first, just a tip of advice, if you wanna do this type of trial yourself, I used glass jars and a really slippery surface, so you might just wanna put a placemat down. It might make your results a little bit more accurate because they're not shoving bowls and forgetting what bowl is where and having to go back again. Uh, Result-wise, I think it's pretty uh, clear to say that Blue Ivy and Boda will eat just about anything and they liked all of the diets, but I did notice that they didn't like the pork diet quite as much. They kind of steered away from it, went back to it, went to the other, other blends, and so I probably wouldn't pick the pork diet just because it didn't seem like they were as attracted to that. Of course, they did finish the bowls and lick them clean, but um, I would go more in the direction of the turkey. I think they both seem to really like the turkey diet the most. Just turkey, eggs, brown rice, carrots, spinach, and fish oil, really good combination of high nutritional quality. Um, so that's probably the, the diet that I'm gonna pick to put both of them on just based on their own taste test and preference. And again, nothing scientific here. You know, there's no control. This isn't a real experiment. We just wanted to do it for fun to see if the dogs would have a preference. So um, again, if you're not familiar with Nom Nom, do check them out. They have really high quality ingredients. I actually came across them by accident because I was doing a lot of research and studying up on nutrition to put out some nutrition videos, uh, which you can find on the YouTube channel as well. But as I dug a little bit deeper into nutrition, I decided that I wanted to to change my own dog's diet. I thought I was feeding them a high quality diet, which in the way of kibble I was, but I wanted to feed something better that was higher nutritionally available to them. And I came across Nom Nom and I've been really impressed with everything they're doing ever since. So if you wanna give them a shot, um, if you wanna try it out with your dogs as well, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. If you use that link, they'll give you 50% off a trial. So go ahead and use that if you wanna try some fresh dog food out for your dogs as well. Just a side note for our kitty lovers, I know this is a dog channel, but they do make cat food also and the cats love it. So check them out nomnomnow.com. You can use that referral link if you want a trial for 50% off. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed the content, the taste test. Go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell notification to receive more content just like it. Thanks so much for watching.